chapter in the books there in the United, certainly the victors there. And as we know, Phil, history is written by the victors. But enough of that. Here we go into London Docks, S and D. Who are you favoring for this one? Because again, the United, we've seen some incredible work from them. That the series they had against TK was one of the most exciting Call of Duty series I've ever had the pleasure of sitting in an audience for. And I'm hoping for a little bit more like that now. Well, to answer your question on the desk, I was saying 3-1 E-United. Uh, I, I now come to the conclusion that I think the hard points either side are going for E-United, but where do FaZe Clan still want? Maybe in the search and destroy, it may be this map. Can they work that momentum? Maybe if they get a couple of rounds back to back. Let's jump on board now and see exactly what's going on. Priester is the one holding the bomb, but uh, we're on board currently with Arsties. Let's head over to the attacking team as uh, a little bit of a slow start. We've seen, and I will say, United very aggressive on the B-bomb site. They push right up, but this time a little bit different. Again, search and destroy. It's first to six. Teams will take route, take turns attacking and defending, and Zuma's going to open this one up with a cheeky kill there on Arsties from behind. And that first blood is going to give the advantage to the FaZe Clan. This is replays on your screen. The man we were just talking about singing his praises doing his best to sniff out the opposition. He's got a player in front of him, but he doesn't quite know about it again. That bomb slowly but surely being moved around towards the A-bomb site for the boys in FaZe Clan. Clay has picked up another kill there as well. So United down now by two men in this round. And they've got a pretty solid foot uh -oh. ult here already, and that's almost there. Here we go. Zuma flying. Oh my goodness, don't do it. Finally, we'll uh, take down Clayser, and that should be the round with Silly left in a 1v3. Silly trying to defeat all odds here. 35 seconds left on the clock. He needs to Kill two, defuse the bomb. They'll be heading in. Will he spot the plane through the window? Not going to happen here. Very tough ask for Silly there. Uh, Zuma, though, he uh, he was a player which I, I think was on the search and destroy leaderboards. Self, Maven, Dirk, and Chance kind of breaking that down previously. He, he's always been up there uh, alongside, I believe, Slasher. I think he's sat in second place right now for search and destroy KD. Uh, could be completely wrong, but hey ho, there we go. Priester, though, a man, uh, again, who kind of shot to start him last year uh, under the leadership of Aches. Maybe this is the team, after a little bit more practice, could be uh, could be the right phase clan on one who has been searching for a championship for a while. Here we are once more onto the breach, and already things looking good for both teams. One dead apiece. Clay's going to be down for E United, and for the phase clan replays, is also going to be dropped there. Those kills already going to Zuma. He's currently going three and one, but this is Pristine Union screen shots out against Zuma, the man himself. He's going to be pushed back. Now, again, that bomb is close to B bomb site. Pristini does have it. Potentially, he be going for an arm, but again, you can watch the, the flanks for United being covered heavily there by Asties. The boys of FaZe are going to try and punch a hole through the middle here, possibly. They're going to work their way right around the front. They've got the bomb site for cover. Silly guns up. Priest to take shots Ooh. right through the wall there, and that's going to be providing a big advantage there for the boys in E United. FaZe now down by two. Yeah, some of these walls very penetrable, as we do see now a 3v2 in favor of that United squad trying to get the first round on the board as the hop and skip and a jump from Prestini finds himself in the A-bomb site. And you know what? Uncontested. And you know what? This is going to be a nice cleanup kill for Silly. He's just going to find his time. No, he's been spotted. Maybe the call-out came in for Silly. Having to back down and actually putting uh, Zuma in a more potential position now. A 2v2 here breaching in. Zuma does go down. We are going to see this go in favor of E United. That machine pistol, I've got to say, up close and personal, can be very, very damaging. Yeah, when he's airborne, though, that hip fire is a little bit too crazy, a bit too wild for him. And look how majestic Attach looked when he went for that kill. But hey, man, Prasini's going to be finding the better of him, and that is going to be a round four. Right, here we are, Phil, back into this one. A little bit back and forth between the two. Again, early days, only round three. They're feeling each other out. They've only had one bit of experience playing against each other in the uh, CD. Two rounds, I should say, from pool play. But this is a whole new kettle of fish. We're in much more dangerous waters here in London Docks. I think this man on your screen is the X Factor right now in the S&D. He's always wants to pick up those first bloods and look at him making moves. Zuma pushing through the middle. However, Arsties is going to be the first one. The smoke doesn't come past him. Attach will fall first, now leaving E United in a more favorable position. We've got a couple down at the docks. And Oh my goodness, a little bit of an edge there. Maybe your socks are going to be showing. And that, of course, is coming from replays. But, oh, one step back and Prestini walking right into trouble. And that is going to be an easy kill there for replays. Picks up his weapon as well, so that's going to be equipped now. The FG-42 for those long-range engagements. And that PPSH for up close. Clay's going to be finding Zuma there again, maybe potentially removing that X-Factor. Pristin out, trying to do a bit of damage. Lovely shots, but not able to find the kill. That stun's going to slow him right down, but replays is there to pick up the pieces, kit in the flank. And now it's a 2v2 right now. Replays and Priester. Priester with bomb. Replace is trying to clear that site out, but again, the distracting play here is going to make some shots as he lets his teammate now rotate to the other side of the map and hit that B bomb site. Nobody currently on E United has caught wind of this plan, and this may just pay off for the boys in red. Can FaZe make something work here? 20 seconds left on the clock. 
Ortiz is the one who maybe has to rotate and check this. And the bomb is down. This is where he's going to see it. Try and hit the site. So we know he has crossed back, and that may give the intel exactly where it's coming. But again, replays shot in the back. And now a very difficult position. Silly, I believe, shot his weapon there and will reveal his location. Now giving chase. Look at this. Replays. I'm in the corner, buddy. And uh, oh my goodness, replays. Stop shooting there. We are going to see him just recover 23 seconds silly is still weak the health regeneration very slow of course but we have got to see priester and you know what the call out was priester went to that side in fact he's rotated right round and silly you gotta be caught with your pants down here oh, apparently this is silly weird. isn't on the bomb just yet 10 seconds left and time is of the essence he knows it and this could well be it no silly trying to play his life it's gonna be taken out there and that's gonna be a full round priester calm collective here in search and destroy and much needed of course losing map number one to e united will be keeping themselves of course if they lose twice to the same team here of course we highlighted in pool play did favor e united and this phase team as well uh, you know as we do have a couple of seconds here before getting into this you know not the best results online uh, a lot to prove here the battle through the open bracket they found themselves in a very tough pool and now they're fighting amongst the best. They've seen off a lot of competition and still fighting strong on Championship Sunday. Big change here of Master. He's now taking out that car 98. Hoping to make a change. Big impact it may have. Replace is about to hit a big old flank on the players of, of United RC. He's going to be taken out. So that snipe's completely been removed from play now. Two players down for the boys. Oh my, oh, what a turn God. there from Pristini. Taking out Attach. Again, Attach having a bit of a struggle. Norton 4 right now. Clay doing his best to stay alive. Three members of. He's coming at him, and he's going to be cut down in the end, and that is going to be a very clean, a swift round. Disgusting shots from Prestini, but that's about it. Flashy plays, it doesn't win the round here, and it was all orchestrated by this man. Replays, ordered the Bronze Star, of course, for the final kill. Uh, but the, the, the very quick flank was through, of course, the B-bomb site. Straight round, taking down Arstees, the sniper of E United. And then I think Zuma swept in as well, a 2v4. Not coming off, of course, for E United and FaZe. Like I said, potentially this is the swing map. Can they get enough momentum from this search and destroy and drive home the victory? Let's go back on board with the FaZe clan now back on the attack. FaZe again smoking out, making their way towards A. And here we are. Big old play happening again. Replays, making his way through. The attach still yet to make anything happen. There's a clean split right across the middle of the map for the guys on E United. They may have caught wind of the play coming down towards B. And there's the flank from Zuma. Clay's going to be dropped immediately. E United down by one now. Zuma's trying to find another. If you can get another player there, nothing else has changed on the front for FaZe. They've kept their position solid, and now here comes the push through mid. Priester with that bomb in hand needs to get some cover. He's given away his position, but now that bomb's going to be going down, and here comes the counter-attack from the United, and they haven't done too well for themselves. Now it's all on Arsites, and he's completely outmaneuvered here. He's trapped himself into a corner, and the boys of FaZe are going to sniff him out, hunt him down, and they are going to have a bit of a struggle during that one. We're still on, just to confirm. The round it hasn't is, ended, guys. It, it, he's it still is, alive. It is a 1v3. He's uh, doing fine. Production. <coughs> I know he's in a difficult position, but uh, let's give him a chance. He's proven himself yet, 30 seconds. Trying to get the kill, the defuse, he finds a second. This would make a, a very interesting round, to say the least. It's going to be shut down there, and uh, rightfully so. FaZe, again, wins that round, and it all orchestrated from uh, the flank. Once again, Zuma coming right behind Clayster, shot him in the back, and just opens that B-bomb site up completely. Very well done. I will say as well, smart player. I think it was from replays. He, uh, he started planting the bomb, got off it, and as soon as his teammates picked up that kill, the bomb went down. FaZe Clan, 4-1. Yeah, FaZe not afraid to risk it all for the biscuit. They're looking pretty confident, happy to maneuver around the map. As you can see, the players of United, a little bit more stationary, a little bit more sedentary in their play. Replays currently going 8-2. and two. We'll be surprised if we see some streaks maybe coming of him. That's going to be an early stun. Going to garner some information. Attach is going to be having to get the hell out of dodge. Clay's coming in fast and hard. He will be dropped there, and that's going to be two dead already for United. Attach dropped for phase, but again, success still going their way. Two on two right now. This is replays on the stive. That's all now down to Zuma and Silly. It's a 1v1. Phase looking extremely strong here in the SD. United now desperate to get something in here. They don't want to be put on the map point. Again, it is first to six, and Silly versus Zuma. It's all going to come down to this 1v1 by the Apple Crate. Pistols at dawn. First one to make a move, and it's going to be Silly coming out on top there as once again Zuma decides to leave the ground. Can't shake that advanced movement, right, man? He just wants to get up there. He likes his head in the clouds. Here he is on that replay. Look at him go. Elegant, but he's going to fall to his death there. But uh, I will say, huge, huge round for Silly there. 4-2, 5-1 world of difference and just gives the United a bit of a safety cushion. You know, if they are to lose another round, they're still not out of it just yet. And uh, for me, one thing I'm surprised at is we've not seen Arsties kind of picking up, picking up players. When I saw him last time on this map, he was sniping right down this A site, picking apart his opponent. 
this time he's switching things up. Of course, he did have that one map, uh, which, in fact, it was against FaZe in pool play. Uh, used the sniper, he went zero and uh, six, I believe. Sorry to throw you uh, under the bus there, Arsties, but it did happen. Facts, facts. Zuma does get dropped there by Silly, and I was going to say that overzealous play there potentially from FaZe, and it didn't pay off for them. Not the most profitable push. And now you can see EU United now answering back. This is Priester on your screen, making his way towards B with a bomb in hand. There is a bit of a ring around the Rosie, and he's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Clay, but Clay in the PPSH. It's new territory for him, but he looks as comfortable as ever. Attached now, all in his lonesome for FaZe Clan. He's got a lot of kills to get here. 3v1 with 45 seconds left on the clock. There is a bomb nowhere near him. Why well, should he it? I take it all back. It's him on the bomb side. <laughs> He's going to be rolling on forward now. But again, a lot of kills he needs to get. Clay gets out of dodge, but he may be challenging that one. He knows he has teammates nearby. If he can get this one kill, it's going to help him out a little bit, but not enough. I think the is a little bit confused of where Clay went there. He's going to finalize that kill. And we are going to see a 1v2, but... The location has been revealed. Really hard even for attacks to even get to a bomb and get that down. We've got a smart play coming in from Pristine. He just took away in that corner, but it doesn't look like he's going to be the one to deal with him. He's going to be asked. He's location revealed, 10 seconds on the clock. You need to pick up some uh, crazy kills here. And E United, they're playing this so smart. They don't need to do anything. They sit, they wait. They uh, can do whatever they want, really, for three seconds. Oh, that was almost a, uh, a very Ooh. closely timed engagement. Dyson with death there, and that's going to be United back on the board. Four to three, currently in favor of FaZe. This is the momentum swing that United needed. A little bit of an adjustment, slowly but surely, and then crawl their way back into this one. Phil, again, everything to play for here still. We're going into round number eight. Replays 10 and four. That ratio is only getting bigger. Well, RST is the changeup of the Sniper 2 FG, definitely working, hitting five of five at the moment. But Priester draws the first blood, and just like that, it's second and third, and Pristini, good luck, have fun. 60 seconds on the clock, you got the bomb, but you're up against the whole of the FaZe Clan. And there is the first gunfight, not gonna happen, we're gonna see FaZe find round number five, and they're one round away from equaling that uh, map count, of course, in the series, Priester, Pristini, was Prestini, not Priest. So those names will never uh, never be easy. It's been a long day, man. We're having a lot of fun, but there we go. Map point for the guys on phase, ready to tie this series up. Again, the respawn first hard point didn't exactly go their way on St. Marie, but here on the London docks, they're having a good old time in rainy London. And here, replays on your screen, charging on through. One more round for the boys of phase clan. And they're looking to make a big impact. It's an extremely aggressive round. Two through mid, one B, one A. Let's I'd see how E-Unite respond. Yeah, I do like this. Smoke going down over at the A-side, but the bomb uh, is lingering in Priest's hands over at B. Maybe a little bit of a fake, and you can see here, by that mini-map, E-United a bit unsure exactly what is happening. There is one player locked down in the A-side, but with 60 seconds left on the clock. First blood not being drawn. You can see one player inside the docks just jumping up and down. I think you might have heard him there. Wall bank potential. The next one finds the second. Oh my goodness, the pre fire coming in. Attach saves the day as replays did not make that kill. Brothers in arms attach and replays now trying to make a move. They have the numerical advantage. They're 5 3 up. This is FaZe Clan's time to shine and shut this one down. You got the numbers. They can play the numbers. They can go for a push. And it looks like it may be working out for him. Arsty's last player alive. He's all on his own. Bomb's gone down at B. That's going to force a play. Arsty's is out and about in town, but he's all alone. And he's going to be cut to shreds. Six threes. The final score here is FaZe Clan tie things up in this series. FaZe Clan uh, obviously pushed this the distance previously. 3-2, of course, is how that one ended. And you know what, Miles, I will say, uh, the, these days are all kind of merging into one. These map fives.